just all kind of activity today uh, got these guys here trimming trees they're gonna get that one there at the driveway then the ones on the pond and I'm working at cleaning this thing up uh, guess I got to go around and wash it again all the crap around the tires I missed and still finished grease and I got to grease the pivot points where it hinges and I think I should be done grease and the drive shaft got a good helping of grease and uh, stuff like that so I got this thing all washed and I'm going to uh, just let it sit here and drip dry that way I can come back later and see what I missed and go over it again dad's like it just takes time doing this shit washing it uh, let's go see what they're doing I hear they're making a bunch of noise so now since we got the hay tether all done we'll go ahead and get rid of this packer get it off this 4020 um, so that we can do other things today with the 4020 I guess I'd go back another three, four foot, five foot maybe, all the way back against the gates because the further back you are up against something, the more greater chance you have getting to that tub there, get a cow or something. Or if you want to bring more cows in, you can put them in there and run back around over on the alleyway that way. But that's always a good thing to do is just back up against something and call it good enough we gotta put our safety prop in so that we can let the let the hydraulic pressure off the the remotes and unplug the hydraulics and then this pin just goes back through here hits a cylinder like that and then this clip here in my hand goes on the other end to make sure that it stays put now I'm gonna shut this shut it off and then relieve hydraulic remotes the pressure so that I can uh, so that I can get rid of this packer finish and hooking it okay so on the 4020 all you got to do in the 3010s is there's a little lever right here you pull that guy forward and the same on the other end that puts these in uh, detent so you can take them out and it stops the flow of oil that little that little guy right there when you have this out that enables oil to come from the uh, SCV selective control valve um to the tractor as you can see it kind of start to dribble its way out there and that's because i have this open and it's allowing oil to come out i get that closed now and then what you do if these things ever get stuck you come back here and you just push on the back end of these guys and you push them out they can put your remote in flip these back just like that and away you go so that's just something I thought I'd educate you guys on a little bit. Okay, now we're all unhooked and we can go ahead and pull a tractor ahead. And I want to show you something I learned the other night from watching a fellow YouTuber who's got a 4020 tractor, just like this one. Now I went ahead and removed the PTO shield for this purpose and this purpose only. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there is a seal in here and he showed they see it went bad, leaking a bunch of oil. Apparently his was replaced because I didn't see any green paint on it that I could tell. This was all like it had been replaced. Uh, the seal went bad and the gears, the, the snap, there was a spring in there that got all chewed up and all ate, ate the crap and everything. And he showed taking these bolts out, all of them, all these bolts, and pulling this whole thing out and a bunch of gears and everything and there's another shaft that goes into the tr into the back end of the gears up into the tractor and that is what 
runs his PTO and his was leaking and he said he'd have to have John Deere come out and he did because that because that he was able to pull that the bits and pieces out from that spring without doing any harm to the bushing or anything like that but I just wanted to show you on this tractor what uh, what he was going what we, what he was going through if anybody doesn't watch him go check out uh, growing corn 2020 well I say this thing don't look too darn bad myself um, but I got one I can't see out the other uh, let's see the bars are all clean I guess these are you can take these off as why they're as loosey-goosey as they are um, I'd imagine that's why you can do that and I think we're ready to go ahead and fold this thing up and look underneath see if we missed any somewhere to park it and get rid of it. We might just take this Heston over and go uh I'll see if I can make it across this down here at this end the bridge. Rather than going all the way out and around and come back down and around and going over there. Or not. Well yeah, it's not too tore up. I've seen it worse. This way I ain't gonna screw around with the electric fence and all that. Uh, just gonna hook them both together and go with it rather than horse around with one at a time. Actually. I think, think I might just back this one up to there, hook up, and then I can just pull it right out two at a time, shut the doors, and be on my merry way. I think that's what I'll attempt to do. Perfect. I gotta scope scoop out a little bit, but. Another tongue needs a handle welder on it so you can pick the thing up and set it up there. Is that coming out? Yep, I see another set of wheels, so we're good. Let's see, now to make the corner. Are we gonna make it? Oh yeah, like a glove. Uh oh, uh oh. No uh oh. Cool, all right. Good old Heston. Okay, so I'm gonna grease his wagons, check air and tires. Um, no, I'm not going to back that back wagon in, hook to the front wagon, because I never get it made around the corner up there. Um, but yeah, I'll use the Heston for those of you who want to see me use a Heston. Never fails when a valve stem stops right up at the top of the the pin there and then you gotta back the wagon up a couple couple turns i guess i don't need to move any well this gator needs to get moved but that's that's beside it 
I gotta just put the gator up in there. Be done with it. The Hester's too darn aggravating to be screwing around with trying to pack wagons in. I was gonna set you up somewhere, but there ain't nowhere good to set you up. Tricycle front ends. Now, what would really be nice if it if it was like a 350 International and had a uh, a tongue on the, the front end of it. But I don't. So we just have to slowly back it in. And rake some gears. At least they're in here and they're not touching. How did I manage that? Uh, I don't know. Huh. Something look a little funny or am I just seeing things? Something looks a little funny with that tire. I don't know what it could be. All right, so hooking back up to this thing so we can mow the last six acres for the year. And I'm gonna try and pull this thing out of here without knocking the building down. <laughs> Kinda curious how that'll go. I'm gonna set you guys up here and you can watch me fuck with this piece of shit. There. Ain't that <coughs> ain't that bad. Oh, I gotta find a clip for that. That's done, I'll get hooked the rest of the crap up. Ugh. It's trying to do something. I ain't got a clue why. It ain't wanting to swing. <sighs> I don't know. I tried switching hoses. Tried putting this one with that one. Leaving this one single and it don't make a difference. I tried putting these two up here. This one down here and nothing. It takes two tractors to run one piece of equipment. I can't get the thing to swing to save my life. He says the two that are zip tied together for left and right. Well, they should have worked on the 7200. 
because I had right on red, that'd be this way, and I had them plugged in just like this on that middle set, and it didn't work. So what the heck? But yet the single one for up and down did. That, that confuses me. Well, what the hell? So it works on this, but it don't, what the heck? I'm confused. So I'm gonna try the radio later this year uh, because it impedes your vision looking out this window. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try it right there this year because it blocks visibility when you're trying to look out that window and go down the road and every which way. So hopefully it works better being right there.